The Hoboken City Council approved a nearly $112 billion budget on Wednesday night. Citing increasing health care costs is the main reason for a 2 to 3 percent tax increase for residents. While no members of the public spoke on the budget, Ward 2 Councilwoman Tiffany Fisher, the Finance Committee Chair, gave detailed remarks about how the council worked together to come up with a $111,812,234 budget. We were able to um, achieve a additional $200,000 um, in our budget for the Ward 2 Fisher also warned that preliminary figures from the Board of Education and the county both point to a 4% tax increase from each entity. Ward 5 Councilman Peter Cunningham noted that while health care insurance cost increases led to an inevitable tax increase, he commended everyone involved for coming up with a lead budget, also advocating for responsible commercial development to increase city revenues. While this is a tough year, I think Councilman highlighted the issues around health care insurance and how that was a very large um, driving expense factor in the budget that was nearly impossible to control, but I think the administration did a fantastic job in getting our arms around that and, um, and working with us on all the other lines. I mean, we, we, did, we did go through just about every line in this budget to ensure that they weren't over padded uh, because, as some of you may understand, you know, this generates the, uh, the city surplus. I, I don't want to be criticized by some members of the community when I say development, but commercial development. Commercial development is extremely important. We've been trying to get commercial development done in this city uh, for, for quite some time now. I, I think we're getting close with some projects, but that, that is, that's going to be a driving revenue force in this city. It, it doesn't overtax the residents. Uh, with all the other city services that residential development does, uh, and it, it'll um, allow us to uh, provide some relief, uh, additional relief or stability uh, for the tax base uh, on a go-forward basis. So Cunningham also stated some revenues could possibly be made by examining how the city handles sanitation matters. After council met at large, Robbie Bala and David Mello spoke about taking the time now to start thinking about stabilizing taxes for next year and getting to work on repairing the infrastructure to eliminate water main breaks, respectively. Ward 4 Councilman Ruben Ramos had specific questions about the roughly $2.2 million open space fund, wondering how much it would cost to maintain Hoboken's parks. Well, how much we use to, to actually acquire Hoboken through this trust fund? Because how much have we used? Well, we have used about 10% Additionally, Ward 3 Councilman Michael Russo, a typically dissenting vote on the board, commended his colleagues on a job well done and said he would make a rare exception of voting for a budget with a tax increase. I normally want to vote on an increase in the budget when it comes to our taxes. Um, however, I have to say that the open communication throughout this whole process is something that has actually changed my mind in the way I look at this. Uh, Councilman Fisher, you did an excellent job uh, throughout the whole process, uh, and, and it really is a, a, a really tremendous uh, achievement, especially being a newly elected council person. I've served in that position. I was the chairman of that, of that committee uh, through some of my tenure here as a council member, and 
it's not an easy job. It, it really isn't. So I, I applaud you. I applaud the rest of the committee uh, in, in the way you really handled it this year. Russo also agreed with Mello in that it's time to start tackling water main breaks head on, noting that he and Ramos had discussed allocating part of the budget surplus to aid in the lingering matter. The budget was approved by a seldom seen 9-0 vote by the board. I'm John Hines with the Hudson County View, the Eye of the Community.